so I've already actually kind of thrown this convention at you before and maybe we just didn't even know it but if we want to now kind of talk about an element what we do is we put instead of X we put the symbol for the element so let's go with oxygen of course the symbol for oxygen is O and um, this information can be let's see how do I say this um, the the atomic number will be given in the lower left hand corner for oxygen actually it is six that's from the periodic table and I'm just going to tell you one isotope of, of oxygen has a mass number of 12 I think that's what I want to say okay so this mass number we talked about before I hope we're all on the same page with this this is number of protons plus what number of neutrons Sometimes this is called nucleons. This is mass number. I'll just kind of show it over here. Um, and this 6 right here, this isn't always given because the 6 is the number of protons. And by golly, you know the number of protons if you know what? The element. And the element is oxygen. So we talked about that before. Let's go ahead and review... Um, because I have a couple of problems for you to do. If you wanted to knock out the number of protons, number of neutrons, oops, sorry, number of protons plus number of neutrons, of course, right away, hopefully you're okay, say number of protons six. Number of neutrons now, we did this before, we take the mass number, which is 12, because that's protons plus neutrons, and from that we subtract the protons. So in this case, I got, what, six neutrons. One last thing I want to add to this is something we talked about is ions. Um, since oxygen is a nonmetal, oxygen tends to pick up electrons. Specifically, oxygen is in group 6A, so it's got six valence electrons. So to get to eight, it's going to actually add two electrons. Okay, so honestly... The best bet, if you see oxygen to be an ion, it's going to be an anion, and it's going to be minus 2, or 2 minus. All right, so here we go. The last subatomic particle I want to knock out is the number of electrons. So do you buy this? Since it picked up two electrons, it's actually the number of protons plus the extra electrons it picked up. That's how I think of it. So this thing actually has eight electrons. All right, so now I've got you guys. I'm going to turn you loose on a few questions. And so you need to answer these questions. The first one is in regard to fluorine. Now, um, I'll just kind of talk you through it and then turn you loose. So right away you see that fluorine, there's no charge, so it must be what? Neutral. So I want you to answer these questions. What's its atomic number? What's the mass number? How many protons does it have? You get that by difference. How many electrons does it have? Remember, it's... No, I guess you don't get protons by difference. Sorry, protons is, is 9. Hint, hint. Number of electrons, it, since it's neutral, what do you think? Number of neutrons you get by difference. So I'll give you a chance to do that one. Now this one is a little different. We have, of course, CA stands for calcium, right? Again, we have the mass number is 39, the number of protons is 20. We can get neutrons by difference. But in this case, we have this metal has lost, what, two electrons to become a plus two charge. So I'm going to give you a minute, and I want you to, well, you can have all the time you want, actually. But in this video quiz, go ahead and answer what's its atomic number, its mass number, the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. And then last but not least, we have Cl. Hopefully we're all on the same page. Cl stands for what? Chlorine. And we have this isotope has this mass number of 36, number of protons plus neutrons. Number of protons, since it's chlorine something, is 17. So it's got 17 protons tucked away in its nucleus. Notice here, though, we have a charge of minus 1. So it means it has picked up one electron. And that actually, if you look it up, 
you're going to see chlorine is in 7A, group 7A, and all 7A elements pick up one electron to get eight electrons, and that have, that's how they become anions. So go ahead and answer this video quiz.